I can't stand intros. As much as I like to talk about this knife, in every single video that I do, I don't think it would be fair to all the other knives. All right. I have to put you away now. I got a couple of swaybacks. What can I say? I looked at the design and I looked at the pattern. I said, I really like that. But there's a couple of things that really bug me about the uh, swayback. The one thing that bugs me the most is, although it looks cool, you know, the letter S, it looks kind of cool. It feels really weird in hand. It almost like it, the handle should be going this direction and that the blade should have went that way. And I don't, I don't know that it, they couldn't have done that. I mean, just looking at that, why couldn't they have had the blade on this side? It would have made it way more comfortable. Is, is it just me? Like it feels kind of, that's the way it should feel in the hand. But this is, anyway. All right, so let's uh, look at these three. Um, I don't know, I was attracted to them. I was attracted to this to the pattern. And I think they'd actually be very useful. Some of you out there are into mushrooms. I'm into mushrooms too, maybe not as much as uh, some of you. But I'm thinking, yeah, hello. You see where I'm going here? I think this would make a great mushroom knife. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think they actually make mushroom knives with this uh, hawkbill shape and a little brush at the end or something. But let's just talk about the three that I have. Uh, this is an old timer uh, from China. This is not the original old timer. I just picked this up not too long ago. And I believe it's uh, 440 or something like that. Stainless. Uh, quickly run you around the uh, the fit and finish on this one. And uh, let's try and change the lighting just a little bit. Try and... Yeah, it could be a little bit right. How's that? Oh, that's a little bit better. It's not bad. It's not great. Half stop. And I centered the blade. The blade originally was kicked over to one side. Uh, one day I might do a video on I should probably do a video. I've talked about it a thousand times on how to center these. Uh, put my own edge on there. Uh, I'm not gonna go shaving hair or cutting paper. You just have to trust me, it's sharp. Uh, the second one is this marbles. And I've put my own edge on this one too. And again, this is from China. I believe it is like a 440 stainless as well. And if you're new to my channel, I don't review knives. I'm just simply showing you what's in my collection. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm a musician and a part-time knife maker for fun. This one here has got a lock. I think this is a really good knife. I like this one. I like it because it's got the little lock feature. It's also got a half stop on top of that. So that's kind of cool. This one I centered as well. And it's got a nice little bail. Pretty sturdy bail, by the way, too. So I believe I did run you around it. Fit and finish on that's pretty good. I do like that one. And my favorite of the three is the Rough Rider Tobacco Road series. And I do think this is a, another stainless 440 type of thing. Yeah, 440. This one is screaming sharp. I did some work on it. 
Put my own edge on that. And it's really good and sharp. I find this little tip here like is very handy for opening boxes as well on a draw cut. It's very good. Fit finish is not so great. It's not so bad. I've seen worse. Try and get you nice and close. No daylight. At least I don't think there's any daylight going through there. And it gets kind of messy in here. That's not too bad. I like this uh, Tobacco Road series with the, uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's like brass or something or copper. I'm not really sure, but it looks good. The texture is pretty cool. So maybe it's like a bone or something. But uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Really not much else to talk about. I just wanted a, I only wanted one in the collection, but then I, I don't know, I got three. They were pretty cheap, so I thought, well, it's not a bad idea to have them around. And when I do go out um, um, mushroom picking, whenever the snow leaves the ground, I will probably have one of these in my pocket. Um, so anyway, short video. Uh, let me know what uh, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, if you want to see any more of, of these uh, slip joints, talk to you later. Bye for now.